Now, coming out with all these stories yeah, and, and telling what you've seen and been through, one common theme i seen in the comments was he's never going to bodyguard for anybody ever again. Right. Yeah, to me, that's crazy because... I never got this many calls in my life. But the last time you called me, you probably couldn't even reach me. You feel me? I had to call you back. Bro, I'm getting so many calls, bro. Phone blowing up off the hook. All the gas. Like, we overbooked. And I said I was retired. I said, I'm done with this. But, like, now, more people seeing my face. You feel me? And, like, people are recognizing me from things they've seen before. So it's like... Yeah, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. And like these people I'm talking about, like, who cares, bro? Like, I'm not implicating nobody in no crimes or nothing like that. I'm just telling my life story. I can't tell my story. Why are people mad about that? But that's a lie, though. I'm, I'm constantly getting booked. I'm, I'm turning gigs down. Cause bro, it's so many, it's so much stuff I did not speak about, and I honor my NDAs. You feel me? So like, it's been things people said in the comments that I can't even really respond to because, yeah, I, I'm gonna do good business, but like, it's no fear in my heart, man. Like, if anybody have a problem with this, y'all know how to reach me. We can just link up. We can get to it, but that's not. I'm getting higher, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting higher, bro, for sure. For sure, for sure, I'm getting higher. Okay. Yeah, that's not. It's just people on the internet, bro. They don't. They don't know nothing about what's going on. They just got a voice. That's why in China ain't no YouTube. They don't want to hear nobody's opinion you know, on nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what you guys say? We don't care. Shut up. Bro. Care. Just speak go out. You speak out. Yeah, you go into the pen. <laughs> uh, Life you going to jail. You going to jail. You speak out over there. So. You ever came across Jeezy? Oh yeah. I done seen Jeezy a hell of times. But I mean, he act like every other rapper, bro. You feel me? They don't be wanting no confrontation or nothing. They just want to come do their job, get on up out of there. I done seen Jeezy before. What about Neo? Bro, me and Neo have never seen eye to eye. But one time I snatched his hat off in the club. He tried to fight. Why'd you snatch his hat off? Bro, because famous guys, bro, if they see a section with the women, bro, they're going to use that fame and they think they're going to come over there and just trump card you. The man stepped out of his section into our section, grabbed this girl hand, who that was my homie, and kissed her hand. Bro, what? I'm in here with killers, bro. Why would you do this? Bro, so I snatch his hat off his head. He get mad as hell, so I sling it. He had like a top hat, bro, like some out of Batman or something like that. So I fling the hat. He get pissed, bro, pissed. I thought he was gonna swing on me or something. He got pissed off, started making a whole little scene, and then eventually he migrated out that section. But but he remember that though. Every time I see him, he knows he he don't like me at all. <laughs> <laughs> he don't like me at all. He made that be known too. Give me a middle finger and shit like that. <laughs> he flips you off when yeah, he sees you? Yeah, he'll be from across the room. He finna flip me. He gonna flip me off. Or he do like this. That's how you know somebody really don't like. He do like this. I'm like, man, I'm not worried about you, man. Stop playing with people, bro. Leave us alone, bro. You grabbed my homie girl hand and kissed her hand, and you stepped in our section. These guys lions, bro. Lions, man. They would have ripped you apart. So I just took his hat and threw it, hoping he'd go after his hat. It worked. <laughs> he went after that hat. That was like a Prada hat or something. He went after that hat for sure. But you know, he 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 under the Diddy Act though. What do you mean by that? You think he got some some stuff coming out about him? Oh, I know so. He really? coming up next. He coming up next, bro. He had a party at his crib. His kids was there. Baby mama was going off. Them, bro, them freak-off parties is way more common than people think, bro. Because once you got money, bro, you can buy people, bro. There's so many sex workers on the West Coast, bro. 
What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.